another editing tutorial now i asked yesterday in my magic store shop if you guys would want to see a, a color correction tutorial and a couple of people said they did so i decided it might be a good idea to do a tutorial on it since it is pretty simple it's not too hard to do so anyways we have this clip right here it's nothing much of a clip it's just a two piece i hit on carrier it's not too special so how you guys are going to want to do a color correction is just add an adjustment layer or you can add 50 like i did but geez now this is going to take forever to load what am i thinking all right i think it's done but anyways, yes, you want to just add an adjustment layer, and you're going to want to do all your color correction on an adjustment layer just so that it adjusts everything all at once, and it's really easy to adjust, like, say the color correction is just a little bit too bright, you want to tweak it at the end, then you don't have to go ahead and do that for every single layer, you can just mess with the adjustment layer, and it will adjust all the clips, so it's really, really easy. Now, the first thing I do when I do a color correction is add a levels, and, you know, this is going to work for this clip, but it's going to be hard to explain because... Look at this, uh, these levels right here, right? So basically, this is the brights, these are the darks, and this is where the colors are on the actual clip. So obviously there's no colors, or there's nothing as bright as like all the way, and there's nothing as dark as all the way. So now that means nothing's completely black, nothing's completely bright. Now if we squeeze these to the middle, then we can start getting a much better look. Now it's using all the colors in the color spectrum, and it just looks a lot more appealing to the eyes. So this is before, this is after, and um, instead of doing this for an adjustment layer, I would literally just take the levels and do this to each individual clip because adjusting the levels for a color correction, like for example, this may be right here, the brightest spot would be right here, for a different clip it may be right here, it might be right here, but it's going to look really dumb if you just add levels to an adjustment layer, so I would just add this levels to every single clip individually and mess with them perfectly, make sure the levels looks all good. So that's looking good for now. If you guys, if your guys' clip is too contrasted, which is making, which means basically some of the some of the darks are overblown and the whites are blown out, then that means you can drag this and I'll basically darken the brights, and this will darken the, or that would brighten the blacks. So yeah, now for the actual color grading, making the cool colors and stuff you see in all my edits. First off, you're going to want to add Looks, which is a plugin from Magic Bullet. It's a really sick plugin. I suggest you guys get it. If you can, you can get it for free for some places. I'm not going to provide any download links or anything because that could get my channel in trouble. But I'm sure you guys could find it somewhere if you put your mind to it. So we're just going to go ahead and click Edit and wait for this to load. First thing you guys want to do, go to your tools and grab a Curves. Curves is the most important thing. Just want to drag and do a slight S curve. You don't want it to be too intense. But something subtle should look nice. Even this is a little bit intense. But we got something looking good right there. Like I said, yeah, that's actually probably a little bit too intense. So it's something really, really subtle. Will look perfect. And yeah, that's looking pretty good for now. So next up, what you want to do is add a saturation. And you can either leave it at 100%. And in that case, you wouldn't even have to use the saturation. Or what I like to do sometimes, I like to turn it down to like 80 or like 90 or something. Just so we can get a kind of grayed out look where the colors aren't so intense. And that way when we grade it, the other colors that we put in will stand out more. So I'm going to do that. You guys don't have to use this. You guys can keep it at 100% if you want to keep the original colors perfect. Uh, I think that's about it for subject. Let's move over to the matte. Uh, that's how you even pronounce it. So there's a few things you can do here. There's a few different color corrections. I'm gonna show you a couple. First off, you can add a color or a gradient exposure. Put this to like one. You don't want to make this too intense. But basically, this will just make the sky really bright. So you can add some cool stuff with the sky. Like look over here, the or this guardrail or whatever isn't bright, but the sky above it is completely white. So you can add some cool stuff like that. You can do that. Then you can add like a diffusion, which basically makes um. Uh, the whites diffuse into other parts of the clip. So if you add this like a red, it's really obvious how that's working out. But normally, I will add a gradient exposure, but I'll just make it like 0.2. I, would, I like to make this really, really subtle because if you make this too intense, like 2 or something, it just looks really, really horrible. So like I said, just like 0.2, something subtle would look really, really nice. So what we've got going on so far is this. This is the color corrected, and this is the regular. So it's looking a bit nicer, but we can still get this to look a lot better. Um, I'm just looking through some of these settings. Most of these I don't use very often, but I figured that some of these would be very pretty entertaining, or not really entertaining, but interesting for you guys to do. So now, I, what I would normally do is I would just grab a diffusion and I would throw this on, and you can do whatever color you want. Any color will look good. Lots of my edits to do like a nice red. You could do like a yellow. You could do like a green. You can really do whatever color you want to. I think we're gonna go with like a green. Blue would look nice. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna go with a nice green for this one though. Yeah, I think that'll look beautiful. And now I'm gonna go like four and the size like 40%. That look pretty that looks pretty nice. So now basically the brights are just diffusing green all over the clip. Uh, maybe even a bit less, maybe like 20%. Mm. Let's actually make the green like two because this green is looking really intense. Like if we made it a red, somehow it doesn't look as intense anymore. But the green just looks way too intense. I don't know how that works, but let's just make it a three. Let's make it 35%. Let's actually make it like a two. All right, so that's looking pretty nice. Like I said, you guys can do whatever color you want. You want to pick a color that will match your song well, because that's really important when you're making color correction. Next up for lens, um, for lens you can add a vignette, but I wouldn't suggest using this too much because this right here is looking pretty nasty and it draws focus to the center of the clip. But as you can see, the brights, which are supposed to be 100% bright, the brightest part of the map, or like. They're pretty much supposed to be as white as you can get them. Now they're like dark and they're grayed out, which looks really, really bad. So if you, if you do use a vignette, you want to make it really, really big like this. Make it really subtle, like, I've, like I keep mentioning. But I'm not even going to do it because if you're going to use a diffusion and other things that make your brights super bright, then it's going to look end up it's going to end up looking bad. So I wouldn't suggest using that. Anamorphic Flare is pretty cool, except it's really hard to master. You could do like a cool green here. See, like it does this, but it's really hard to use. I'm just gonna try messing around with some settings. Maybe like you want to turn the threshold up a bit. The problem is you're never going to be able to put every single clip exactly the same colors. So maybe maybe this part has a flare right here, but on another map maybe most of the clip has a flare. So it's gonna be really hard to master. I don't really even use anamorphic flare that much, but you could if you really wanted to. Um, edge softness. I wouldn't even mess around with this. What you could do with this. The problem with this is it blurs the feed. And you could scale it up a bit, I guess. But what I would like to do, or what I do with this most of the time, got hurt. Okay, what did I just do? Can I undo that? Okay, good, good, good. So what I like to do is just put it down like here, and just drag it super large, like this, just so that, just so the top is really blurred, if that makes sense. And it's the bottom's still blurred for some reason. Yeah, but like I said, I wouldn't use an edge softness too much. It doesn't look that great. If basically all I'm doing is making the top a bit uh, more blurry, just so that we can create some fake depth of field, so that it looks as if the far away parts are more blurred, even though the just whatever's at the top isn't always going to be more far away. So it's kind of it kind of looks fake, but you know it, it could work in some scenarios. So I want you guys to mess around with that. You might be able to come up with something cool, but I'm not gonna touch it for now, just because it's kind of hard to work with. Chromatic aberration is kind of difficult. You can you can it can look cool for some place in some places. Basically, what it does is like this. If you wanted to do it like a little bit, it might look nice. Problem is, it messes up the feed. So if you're doing like a PC edit, it shouldn't matter. But if you're going to make it like a montage, I wouldn't suggest using that. All right, so moving on in camera, I'm pretty sure that's about it from what I use in my color correction. Uh, there's a cool things you can use. Two strip process basically makes it all red and blue. It looks pretty nice. Three strip process is just the same thing with the three colors. Turn the strength up. Whoops, whoops. I don't even know what this does, to be honest. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it for the color correction within Magic Bullet looks. There's some stuff you can do with different programs and stuff. Like, you guys probably see in most of my edits, I use FL Glow, which I'm about to show you how to do. Um. Yeah, so how I use my FL Glow at least is I just search up FL Glow in the effects and presets. And I drag that on and then I make it comparative. I make it like 250. And then we get this cool thingy right there. And I'm going to put the amount to like 0 0.2, something really, really subtle. So you can barely notice it. Maybe 250 is maybe a bit much, maybe like 150. So now, basically what we got is it's a bit brighter and it's a bit like RGB split around the glowy parts. So it looks pretty nice. And after this, now that the uh, now that the FL glow has brightened up the scene a bit, it'd be like 2.25. 2 
now I, now I just want to add a uh, curves just so I can adjust um, just so I can adjust the clip after the FL will since the FL has brightened it up I just want to darken it a bit more like not too much something like that so here's before actually what we can do we can use this little screenshot feature oh god alright let's turn this back on so this is the final color correction. Like I said, you can mix around. You can make the FL glow more intense. Like maybe you want like 0.5, something crazy. You can even then we'll have to adjust the curves a little bit more. Something cool like that might look nice. But yeah, that's about it. So now we can just take a screenshot. My computer's getting really slow, man. This is awful. And then, come on, come on. Okay, hurry up. Just turn the levels off and just turn that off. So, this is the original, and then it's color corrected. So, the color correction obviously looks a lot better, it looks a lot nicer. And, like I said, you don't have to use the green, you don't have to use the FL glow. You guys can mess around with this however you want to. There's a bunch of other cool stuff you can do. You can even start adding some cool elements inside of After Effects, like a vector blur or something. I wouldn't suggest going crazy with this, but you got something cool like. I don't know, like obviously that's looking kind of nasty, but maybe like a negative 15 or something. I don't know. You guys could mess around, come up with a cool effect. But yeah, that's about it for the tutorial just on color correction. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment on any other tutorials you guys want me to make, because I'll definitely be up for making more tutorials. This video is actually really well on my channel, so I want to thank you guys for that. They got the most views and likes aside from edits and montages. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. I want you to have you guys. Oh, I cannot talk. I want you guys to have yourselves a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.